Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to root and flash a custom recovery and then be on your way to flashing custom ROMs on your OnePlus 2. Okay, so before we begin, this could void the warranty of your device. Um, we're not responsible for anything, blah, blah, blah. This also might erase your data. In fact, it probably will. So please back up anything that you feel is important before you get started. Uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna flash a custom recovery onto the device and then use that to gain root access. Okay, so first up we need the files uh, to help us root it, which I put on my drive. So you can click that link there, then click download and save that to your desktop. Right click it and hit extract here. And inside the folder, you should see a recovery.img and supersu.zip. Okay, next we need to install ADB and Fastboot. Um, basically what those are, they are two programs that Android created that allows you to talk to the phone uh, for development reasons through your computer. Now we're gonna use them to flash that recovery image and then to gain root access. So if you don't already have them set up, please click the link here to be taken to my video tutorial on how to set that up. It's super easy and fast, so just do that really quick, whether it's Windows or Mac and then come back to this once you're done so we can continue. Okay, once you have ADB all set up and it can see your phone, we're gonna open that OnePlus 2 rooting folder again. We're gonna grab the recovery IMG and the super user zip file, and we're going to copy and go to this PC, C drive, to our ADB folder. If you don't have that, that's because you didn't do my ADB procedure, so go do that. Uh, and then you'll have this, and inside here you'll see ADB and Fastboot. We're gonna right click in here and paste those other two files as well. Okay, you should have already done this when you were setting up ADB, but just in case, you're going to uh, go to the settings on the phone, scroll all the way down to about phone, scroll down to build number and keep tapping on it until it tells you you are a developer. You can then hit back, go to developer options, turn on USB debugging, and then also turn on OEM unlocking. Then plug the device in via USB. Okay, then with the phone plugged in and everything enabled on it, we're gonna open up our file explorer, go to this PC or my computer, whatever it's called for you, open up the C drive, and then you'll see the ADB folder in here again, and open that. We're gonna hold shift on our keyboard and right click a blank space in there, then hit open command window here. And we're going to type in first ADB devices, just to make sure we can see our device. And so long as you have that serial number and the word device, you're all set. Otherwise, if you don't, please head back to that video I mentioned about how to set up ADB and do that until you can see this. Then we're gonna type ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter, and the device will reboot into bootloader mode. When it does, we're gonna type in fast boot devices just to make sure we can see it. Again, you need to make sure you have that serial number and the word fast boot next to it this time. Again, if you don't, Head back to the ADB procedure for troubleshooting and how to fix that. Then fast boot OEM space unlock. When that happens, it's going to boot to this screen and ask you if you want to erase user data. You're going to use the power button to select yes and wait for it to reboot. And then when the phone reboots, you're gonna have to go through the normal setup process again to get back to this home screen. We then need to go back into settings all the way down to about phone again. We're gonna re-enable ADB. So build number a bunch of times until it says you're a developer. Back, developer options, and make sure OEM unlocking is on and USB debugging is on. After you re-enable USB debugging, you might have to, like I have to, go back into device manager and find the exclamation point, um, right click it, update driver software, browse my computer, pick from a list, Android device, in this case, mine says Oppo, yours probably won't say that, it's just because I have multiple drivers. Uh, Android ADB interface, hit next and yes. That way we manually tell it what it is, then unplug the phone and plug it back in. And then re-allow the RSA key by hitting always allow and okay. And in our same command prompt window, we can type ADB, push, Super su dot zip slash SD card slash super su dot zip. You can then type ADB, reboot, bootloader, enter. And again, wait for the device to boot back into fast boot mode. And we're gonna type fast boot flash recovery, recovery dot IMG. And once it says finished, here we're gonna unplug the phone and we're gonna boot it manually into recovery by holding down volume down and power at the same time and keep holding them until you see the OnePlus logo, then you can let go of the power button, but keep holding volume down 
until you see Team Win Recovery. Then we can tap Install, scroll all the way down until you see Super SU at the bottom. Tap that, tap Swipe to confirm, and wait for it to flash. Then you're going to wipe the cache Dalvik, get back, and reboot system. Then it's going to ask you if you want to disable the stock recovery replace during system boot. What that does is every time the phone reboots, it puts back the stock recovery, which we don't want. We want to keep the TWRP recovery. So you're going to swipe to disable and wait for it to reboot. Once the device reboots, you can go to the Play Store, search for Root Checker, install it, open it, hit I agree, hit OK, tap Verify Root, and Super User should pop up, hit Grant. And there you go. You can see you have root access. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want to get more videos on how to get the most out of your devices, please subscribe here to the YouTube channel or check me out on social networks at The Unlocker. And as always, thanks for watching.